it going everyone? Welcome to Asian Filmness. My name is Ray and I love movies and the movie that we'll be talking about today is the 2017 anime film Pokemon I Choose You. This anime film is directed by Yuyama Kunihiko and it stars Matsumoto Rika and Otani Ikue as Ash Ketchum or Satoshi in the Japanese version and Pikachu respectively. And it's cool because these two actresses have been voicing these two characters ever since the Pokemon anime has aired on TV 20 years ago. Gosh, 20 years. It's really been 20 years since the Pokemon anime has shown on TV, hasn't it? Time flies, but these two have been doing it since the beginning, and it's only fitting that they voice these two characters again in this movie. And I apologize in advance for those of you who aren't versed in the lingo of Pokemon or even the characters, as we're going to be diving into some pretty geeky territory. But as I said, this movie celebrates the 20th anniversary of Pokemon and is in fact the 20th movie in the movie series. And you know, there's always a Pokemon movie every year and every summer. And you can expect to see a new Pokemon movie every year al uh, alongside big names such as Crayon Shinchan, Yokai Watch, Detective Conan, and even Doraemon. You'd see their movies in the theater every year. Year. And as a matter of fact, this Pokemon movie does what the 2014 movie Stand By Me Doraemon does with its story. In that, it remakes and remixes the very first adventure uh, experienced by our heroes. And so the story of I Choose You. Well, if you've seen the TV anime at the very start, you pretty much know how the story is going to go along. Ash Ketchum, or Satoshi, as he's known in the Japanese version, uh, he's an aspiring Pokemon trainer. And upon his first adventure, he chooses is Pikachu all because he well he oversleeps so he's unable to choose Bulbasaur, Charmander or Squirtle as a starter Pokemon. And so at first Ash tries to be buddies with Pikachu but Pikachu ain't having none of that. He absolutely hates Ash and just wants him to get the hell away. And the very first episode of the TV anime is in the very first 10 minutes of this movie. And so many longtime fans will definitely feel a lot of nostalgia but after the first 10 minutes it goes off into its own uh, its own tangent and it picks and chooses different story arcs that are from the very first season and plugs them into the story but kind of remixes them along and all in all it's its own original story focused on Ash and Pikachu as they try to chase down Hole, the legendary bird who they saw in the very first episode. So let's talk about the goods, the things I like about Pokemon the movie I Choose You. The first thing to point out is that the performances are on point. These, Like I said these two actresses have been playing these two characters for years, for 20 20 years so of course they're gonna be fantastic in their roles you know it's it's to be expected of them and of course the nostalgia if you've been a long time fan of the anime you'll definitely have the feels when watching this movie like so many things will give you flashbacks from when Ash oversleeps uh, before before the big day when he gets to choose a star of Pokemon to, ev to even when he and Pikachu encounter that flock of Spearows that give him all that trouble and one detail I really appreciate about this movie is that the story is is reworked from it from the original TV anime in that everyone kind of has the knowledge of regions that exist outside of Kanto and even the Pokemon that reside in them. Like in the wild in the story, you still encounter the Pokemon out of the original 150, but then you see trainers come and go throughout the story who have Pokemon who belong outside these regions like Lucario, Piplup, Lycanroc, and even Incineroar. And when the Pokemon come together to battle, the animation is really fun to watch. Also something I liked about the story is that the core of the the original story is Captain Tech and that is the friendship between Ash and Pikachu and you see it develop as well as it did in the TV anime albeit a lot faster but you still see it fleshed out as well as it could be and I really like the way they remix and infuse the, the the story elements the story arcs from the TV anime into this new and original story you if you've seen the original anime you'll get all the references and you get all the Easter eggs and the parallels and you'll still have a good time with it and for those of you who have seen the very first Pokemon movie with Mewtwo, there is a scene in this film that is almost as tear-jerking as that one scene in that first movie. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know the scene when Ash turns to stone? There's something here that's almost on par with it. Not as quiet, but it's close. And lastly, as a Pokemon movie, it doesn't divert 
from what a Pokemon movie does. Like, if you know what you're getting into when watching a Pokemon movie, you won't be disappointed. You're gonna get, you're gonna get a Pokemon movie. And so those are the goods. So let's talk about the bads, the things I didn't like about Pokemon the movie I Choose You. As I said earlier, only the first 10 minutes and some bits and pieces of the movie are from the original story and the rest is all original. And that being said, there are bound to be a lot of original characters floating in and out of the story. And that's something I, I'm i still on the fence about but I'm leaning more towards didn't like and that there are no Brock and Misty in the story. And not even Gary Oak has a role in the story at all. I don't know, I guess nostalgia is too strong for me but instead of those characters we get uh, Makoto, Soji and Cross as the rival in this story. And you know, admittedly they did well for their purpose in the story but I still miss the original guys. And speaking of which, another thing is Team Rocket, they're in here, but they're nothing but glorified cameos and add nothing at all to the story. They're just there for the sake of nostalgia. They didn't, they didn't contribute anything to the story at all. And I'm a bit of a continuity freak and there were a, a few wild Pokemon here. I won't say who, but there were a few wild Pokemon in here that shouldn't have that shouldn't exist in concept, but there they are. And the last thing, it's not necessarily something bad about the story, but it's more like something I felt that could have been, that would have been good if they added it in. But since there was a lot of remixing going around with the story, I thought it would have been fun if they included a, a Mega Evolution or a Z move here and there, but there was none. It, it was pretty much contained to the elements you would find in a Generation 1 Pokemon game. It's something. You know, like I said, it's something that would have been nice if they were added to the story, but their absence didn't hurt the story at all at the same time. And so overall, you know, it's a Pokemon movie and it doesn't stem far at all from what a, from the formula of a typical Pokemon movie. But the story is definitely loaded with a lot of nostalgia, but honestly, I think it could have used a lot more nostalgia. Like I felt there were plenty of opportunities to just throw in as much nostalgia as they can but for the most part I'd say about 80% of the story was an original piece so they couldn't necessarily throw in all that nostalgia in. But it does well what a good remake does in that it takes elements from the original source and you know it plugs them in again but remixes them so that way it leaves a little surprise for fans of the original piece. And did it deliver? Yeah. But would I call it my favorite Pokemon movie? Eh, maybe not, but it was definitely fun to check it out. And if you were fortunate enough to pre-order the ticket, uh, you can get a code to download a Pikachu wearing one of Ash's caps, and it's pretty cool. And if you take your 3DS to the movie theater, you can download Marshadow, who is a central mythical Pokemon in Pokemon the movie I Choose You. But going back, do I recommend this movie? Yeah, you know, especially fans of the games, for, of the anime. Uh, if you're a fan of the characters, then you definitely should check it out. And this movie will definitely get you hyped into playing Pokemon and battling your buddies again. And so yeah, those are my thoughts on Pokemon the movie I Choose You. What did you guys think and what kind of questions do you guys have? Let us know in the comments below. Once again, my name is Ray. You can catch me on Twitter at RayMaru555. And once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you watch, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can join in more discussions about Asian films. Take it easy, guys.